Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikita, welcome to the Cryptos channel and in today's video we're going to have a look at the project Cardano with its ADA token which reached its new all-time highs just recently. We're going to see the features of the project, what it can do and what it will be able to do in the future. We will look at its past, what it has already accomplished and what is yet to be done. So without further ado, let's start with the video. <laughs> So let's start with looking at what Cardano is going to look like once it's completely built and finished in the future and in the second half of the video we're going to run through all the building stages and the process of development of Cardano and what each step and process is going to bring to the ecosystem and to the Cardano blockchain itself. The development of Cardano started back in 2015 by Charles Hoskinson and his team. Charles formerly used to work in Ethereum building on the project but he had different views regarding its future and how they should develop Ethereum with the other founders. So he left the project and started to work on his own project namely Cardano. The team launched the project in 2017 with a really raw version which wasn't capable of doing pretty much just uh, doing transactions inside the blockchain. So even until today's date the project is still in development and they didn't even develop 50% of uh, the things they are planning to accomplish and to do. The ultimate goal of Cardano is to create an internet of blockchains and an internet of dApps, so basically decentralized applications to take all the other blockchains and dApps, interconnect them on one single blockchain namely Cardano. The second goal is to uh, run and launch launch all the other real world products on blockchain so basically on Cardano and we're going to see how they want to accomplish this and how it's going to look like in this video. The Cardano blockchain runs on its very own consensus protocol called Ouroboros proof of stake consensus and so uh, to describe the consensus protocol it works as following. Imagine that the Cardano blockchain doesn't only have one chain but it consists of several different chains coexisting with each other which are then combined into one big chain. Every, every one of these smaller chains is divided into epochs and these epochs are divided into smaller time slots which basically then consist of blocks. Different validators and nodes create the blocks with transactions which consist of some of the transactions on the blockchain so they don't put, put all the transactions into each single block. The blocks are then placed into the time slots, the time slots are being placed into the epochs and the epochs are running on all of the different chains which coexist and that way all these chains with different transaction blocks are then put into one big consensus protocol mainly the Ouroboros consensus protocol proof of stake. The the advantage of such a protocol is that different chains can have different validators validating different blocks at the same time which are then being put on the same blockchain. So this means more validators can validate the chain at the same time simultaneously so more transactions can happen and basically the blockchain is becoming more scalable faster and the transactions get cheaper because the blockchain isn't so heavily loaded. The Cardano validators or nodes are being rewarded for their work with the native token of the Cardano ecosystem of the blockchain with the ADA token. And so, uh, of course, the validators are running on the proof of stake consensus, so they have to stake their coins in order to uh, keep the network secure and to receive their rewards. There are right now two different uh, ways to become a validator for Cardano or basically to receive passive income. That's to delegate your Cardano coins to some bigger staking pool, which is validating so to a bigger node, or you can uh, run your own staking pool. So basically validate the Cardano blockchain on your own and have other people stake or delegate their tokens into your pool. The difference between these two staking options lies in the way the Cardano blockchain or algorithm is picking the next node for validating the next block. So basically it randomly picks a node but uh, the chance or the probability that your node is being picked uh, depends on the amount of ADA tokens allocated to your pool. So basically you have, if you have lots of tokens allocated to your pool the probability or the chance that you're validating the next block and getting the reward is pretty high. And the other way around if you have not so many tokens in your pool if you create your own pool then the chance of uh you validating the next block is extremely low. But if your node does validate the next block, you get all the rewards to yourself if you have no other uh, stakers, uh, no other accounts staking into your pool. And just the other way around, if you stake into somebody else's pool, you get a portion, an equal portion of the uh, ADA, to ADA tokens as a reward uh, compared to the amount of tokens you have allocated to the pool uh, compared to the, all the other tokens inside the pool. Right now, if you stake your tokens in Cardano, you will earn somewhere between 4.5 and 6% yearly and of course it's not really much especially for crypto but if you're planning on holding your Cardano tokens anyway why don't stake it because that will be another uh, source of uh, some extra income and 70% of all the Cardano supply ADA supply is basically allocated to staking
doing right now. Of course, in order to stake your Cardano, you need a wallet or a place where you can keep your tokens or where they will be allocated. Right now, there are two different uh, wallets or two main different wallets when you, where you can keep and hold your Cardano. That's the Diadolus wallet and the Euro wallet. The difference between these two wallets is that the first one lets you download a complete copy of uh, the Cardano blockchain. So basically, you keep a list and recording of all the transactions and you become a full node and validator. And you can keep your tokens in there. You can make transactions and stake your to tokens with the help of this wallet. But that's probably not the wallet uh, the most of the people will want to have because not everybody wants to become a full validator at Node. So the most suitable wallet for the most of people is the Euro wallet, which you can just download from the App Store or Google Play. And so... Uh, the wallet is just a normal wallet where you don't have a full node, where you just have your tokens, you can transfer tokens, you can receive transfers of tokens, and of course you can use the wallet to keep your Cardano in there decentralized and to stake it. Another important thing to mention about the Cardano blockchain and the technical side of it is that it basically consists of two layers. One, the first transaction layer, which is really light and just uh, keeps the record of all the transaction data. And the second layer is the smart contract layer, which is not uh, completely interconnected or tied to, to the transaction layer. This is a really big upside to the Cardano blockchain because that way the transactions can move faster and cheaper because they don't uh, move over the blockchain all the data from smart contracts which is much more which has much more valuables and is much heavier and on the other side the smart contract layer has a better overview of all the transactions and can filter them by special criteria if a smart contract smart contract protocol has the requirement to do so so basically this allows the blockchain to run more complicated and advanced smart contracts so all in all cardano is really fast scalable and cheap blockchain to run your transactions on and it's also very secure and decentralized in comparison to the other competitor blockchains or even federated blockchains like for example xrp or xlm or ripple and stellar uh, which are federated blockchains sure they are really fast and cheap the transactions there but all the nodes are being controlled by a closed community of uh, validating nodes. Cardano has a different story. So basically all the, anyone who wants can set up a node without any permission. So it's a permissionless blockchain. And this makes Cardano truly decentralized. Cardano was first launched in 2017, starting with the Byron Epoch. And uh, what Cardano was able to do back then is uh, it was pretty much a really raw product. You could buy, you could sell Cardano and transfer it from one balance to another. Another big thing about Cardano big ba back then is that the blockchain was federated. So it was a permission blockchain. You couldn't just set up your nodes. So all the nodes were controlled by ADA, by Cardano and by the Cardano team back then. Pretty much just like Ripple and uh, Stellar right now. Later in July 2020, Cardano had a really big update called Shelly and the update was focused towards decentralization so basically Cardano moved away from this federated blockchain type and became, became uh, truly decentralized. It allowed the users to stake or delegate the stake of their tokens into pools which uh, were there for validating the blockchain and for keeping it safe and secure. This was also the update after which people were starting to receive their proof of stake bonuses for staking Cardano and well actually got the opportunity to do so. So before for the update people could not stay cardano and they could not receive ada tokens as a reward after this update the cardano team said that their blockchain will be 50 to 100 times more decentralized than any competitor blockchain because the algorithm included the opportunity for people to create their own pool and still be able to get rewards uh, rather than uh, sending their tokens over to some top 10 or top 20 pools uh, which have lots of tokens and are constantly receiving rewards so this way there are more validators there are more pools and the blockchain is uh, uh, a lot more decentralized than other blockchains. The next era which is about to come is called Gogan, and it's the update which we're waiting for on the 12th of September this year, so 2021, and it's a really advanced update, update and a really important update which will bring the functionality of smart contracts, which will allow the usage of decentralized applications, so dApps on Cardano, and the creation of native or different new tokens on Cardano, just as we know it from the Ethereum blockchain. After this update, the Cardano blockchain will be capable of everything the Ethereum blockchain is able to do right now, just faster, cheaper, and more scalable again, plus some extra features we're just we're going to discuss right now. So this was the update which drove the price of the Cardano token to its new all-time highs to $2.95, so it almost hit $3. That was the reason, just because the people are really waiting for this update and for the new Cardano ecosystem. After the launch of the update, we will see different DEXs, different staking and uh, farming protocols, different lending protocols on the blockchain of Cardano, so basically everything 
something we see on other working blockchains right now. So it will be a, become a complete ecosystem for on the Cardano blockchain. It's widely believed that lots of the new projects which we're going to launch on the Cardano ecosystem after the update are going to be new gems just because of the consensus algorithm and the new opportunities and the cheap costs which the Cardano blockchain is going to provide them with. So here is a list of some of the decentralized applications which are going to launch on Cardano and so there are a lot of uh, pretty promising projects on this table. Furthermore, this update will include two new programming languages to the Cardano blockchain. They're called Plutus and uh, Merlo. Plutus will be a programming language for uh, uh, building uh, decentralized applications and native tokens on the Cardano blockchain. And Merlo is uh, a programming language which is going to be used for the creation of smart contracts. And as the developers of Cardano promise, you don't need to know anything about code to create your own uh, smart contracts with Merlo. So basically, any person can uh, construct their smart contracts out of thin air. And so uh, this is basically an update to allow people to create their own smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain, even if they don't know how to do it. Of course, all the developers of uh, these projects, which we just saw, uh, had early, early access to the programming codes of Cardano, so they ha could build their de decentralized applications and smart contracts in advance. So we won't wait for a long time before uh, the new decentralized application ecosystem will launch on Cardano. The next update, which we will probably see just in a couple of years from now, is called Beisho. And and this update is bringing the functionality of sidechains to Cardano. Sidechains are chains which work on kind of a different blockchain, so not on, with the same validator nodes like Cardano, but they're interoperable with each other. So each sidechain is interoperable with a different sidechain and with the Cardano mainnet. This update is really crucial for Cardano and for the whole blockchain and uh, cryptocurrency space as a whole, just because of what the sidechains will be able of accomplishing. So basically what the sidechain can do, do, it will have bridge functionalities for all the other cryptocurrencies. So one sidechain can be used, for example, to bridge over Bitcoin or Ethereum to a sidechain, where you can run uh, the representations of the cryptocurrency currency on the Cardano native blockchain system. Also, these sidechains can be used to launch some different projects on Cardano. So you could basically delegate a sidechain to one uh, complete project, which could use still the Cardano consensus protocol and will be operable, interoperable with other sidechains and with the Cardano ecosystem itself, but will uh, not take away from scalability or from the resources of the main Cardano blockchain. This will be basically the time when we will start moving away from uh, just normal smart contracts and simple dApps on the Cardano blockchain to really huge projects or maybe even whole games delegated uh, to one sidechain within, within the Cardano blockchain to whole cryptocurrencies migrating to Cardano if this is going to happen. At least there will be a technical possibility to do so. And after this, we're going to get to the fifth era or epoch called uh, the Voltaire. This update is going to give the governance of the Cardano blockchain to the hands of the community and the stakeholders of the ADA token. So right now, yes, you could stake the Cardano token in order to receive rewards, but you don't have any governance rights over the Cardano blockchain for staking your coins whatsoever. This update is going to change the whole game and basically the community will decide which changes should be implemented to the Cardano blockchain, which sidechains should be created or maybe should be passed away from Cardano and all the things like that. So complete governance is going to be transferred into the hands of the users and holders of the ADA token. The final goal of Ada Cardano, as the founder Charles Hoskinson says, is to run basically the whole world on the blockchain of Cardano. So starting from the cryptocurrencies, with, which could migrate to the Cardano blockchain, uh, going to the banking system, which could go to the uh, Cardano blockchain, to running whole cities or even countries on the Cardano blockchain, as again Charles Hoskinson, Hoskinson says, and what he truly believes into. But if we look at the more closer goals and the more realistic goals for this point of time in Cardano, it's the next big update. Uh, uh, the third era of Cardano, which will basically again integrate the option of smart contract native tokens and decentralized applications on Cardano. So a really big ecosystem, which most of the blockchains uh, in the cryptocurrency space have today and the development of this ecosystem. So lots of users will transfer from different blockchains or maybe new users will start their life or their blockchain exploration with the Cardano blockchain. So after the update, the Cardano blockchain will become truly usable. You won't just be able to buy and sell your Cardano and transfer it between accounts and stake it in 
order to receive some rewards. But you could really uh, look forward for using DEXs on Cardano, for using uh, liquidity farming, lending protocols, just as we again, again said, uh, on all the other blockchains which uh, have the capability. Again, it will be really scalable, it will be really fast and cheap transfers, and this will be the big, big pros of Cardano with the regards of the future sidechains which are about to come. Our team, of course, does hold Cardano tokens for the long term, just because we're waiting for the fourth update at least, when the sidechain integration is going to be finished, when the usage of the Cardano token will be really, really high on demand, and uh, basically, we truly believe in the project. But we're not advising you to buy any tokens, not Cardano, not any other different project we just uh, got the info which uh, you can uh, compress in a small video about cardano in order for you to make up your own mind and uh, take your own decision with that being said that's actually the end of the video i really hope you liked and enjoyed it and that the info was helpful and useful to you and thank you for watching we'll see each other in the next videos bye bye